I spent years struggling with anxiety. And I can tell you right now, I have tried so many different things. None of them worked. And eventually, after years of doing nutrition, doing holistic health, helping a lot of clients, I finally figured out what worked for me that I didn't feel like I was taking anything. I just felt like myself. So in this video, I want to share with you some vitamins and natural supplements that can help you if you are somebody who struggles with anxiety, panic attacks, it doesn't matter if it's anxiety related to a specific event, if it's just generalized anxiety, can't talk, or what it is, I'm going to share with you some specific vitamins that can really help alleviate your anxiety. And it really depends on what the cause of your anxiety is of which one you'll want to take, but I'll share with you some of the ones that I take. I have like a little cocktail of vitamins and supplements that I take in the morning that gives me clear thinking. It keeps me calm. It allows me to move throughout the day with energy, but not like jittery, anxious energy, just like clear, calm energy. So a couple of those vitamins are number one, magnesium. So the way that magnesium works is it helps to one, stabilize blood sugar. Blood sugar is a huge problem of why a lot of people have anxiety. But number two, it also helps enhance the GABA or GABA receptors in the brain, which are your calm receptors in the brain. It does a million other things too. It helps with energy metabolism. It helps with inflammation, histamine, and all those things. But those are the main parts of that. So magnesium is huge. There are multiple forms of magnesium, so you have to be careful of which one you take. Stay away from oxide. Oxide will basically make you poop. It's like they use it for people that have problems going to the bathroom. So stay away from oxide. Uh, the other ones, though, magnesium citrate, malate, glycinate are all really good. Glycinate, you want to stick with more at night because it does tend to make you a little bit sleepy. Um, but okay, so magnesium. The other thing... Omegas, omega threes, because inflammation is also another big cause of why a lot of people have anxiety. And the omegas work really well of helping reduce inflammation, helping with clear thinking. It's good for brain, heart, and eye health. So omega threes are really great too. I take those every single day. B complex. All right. So the B complex. You want to make sure, number one, that you're getting a very high quality B complex because most of the B complexes is, complexes that are out there are garbage. I tell everybody, like they go to a vitamin and supplement store and I'm like, it's probably garbage. How do I know it's garbage? If you look at your B complex and your B12 next to it, it says, I don't even know how you say this, cyanobolum, I think is what it is. It's C-Y-N-A something. If it says that, it's garbage. That is a synthetic B12 and it's really not absorbed well by the body. If you look at your B6 on the back of your B complex and it says pi it says like pyroxidine, pyroxidine, I don't know how to say that either. That also is not a great form of B6. So most of the B complexes that are out there are garbage and your body only absorbs about 40% of it. So you want to make sure when you take a B-complex, that you are taking a B-complex that is in its activated form. So a lot of times it'll say methylated. So the B12 will say like methylcholabine or cholabine, whatever. The B6 will say uh, P5P, B6 phosphate. That's the activated form. But you want to make sure you're getting an active or it'll say like coenzyme or methylated or things like that. So I take a B-complex magnesium, omega, then we have vitamin D. So vitamin D, obviously we get from the sun. There are things though that block us from absorbing vitamin D. And one of those things is clothes, but also if we wear sunscreen, it does stop the absorption of vitamin D in the skin. There's a lot of other things that can deplete vitamin D like stress, which stress causes anxiety. Um, so vitamin D is a huge one. You're going to look at vitamin D at the IUs on the back. It'll say like 1,000, 2,000, 5,000, 10,000, things like that. 
I typically stick around the five to 10,000 range for a few reasons. Number one, I am very active. I work out intensely five days a week doing strength training, hit training, all those things. The other thing too is vitamin D is really important for women for sure. It's considered a st- steroid, not like the steroid you're thinking, but it's considered a steroid type vitamin because it helps with the immune system and it also helps with hormones too. So I take vitamin D. It helps with inflammation. It's also been shown that a lot of people who struggle with anxiety and depression tend to be low in vitamin D as well. So vitamin D is huge. Okay. So we got magnesium, we got B complex, we got an omega and we got a vitamin D. The other thing I take vitamin C. Most people know vitamin C for like if you have a cold or if you're sick, but the cool thing about vitamin C is it is a natural antihistamine. So too much histamine in the brain can actually cause that anxious feeling. And interestingly enough, back in the old days when anti-anxiety medicine didn't exist, they used to give people Benadryl to help alleviate some of the anxiety, both because Benadryl can be kind of like drowsy but because it reduces the inflammation and the histamines that are going on in the brain, those excitory, is that a word? The excitory type neurotransmitters. So vitamin C is a natural antihistamine. Also vitamin C helps with serotonin production, which serotonin is what like helps with the neurotransmitter, the anxious thinking, like serotonin is like your happy hormone. So those are some natural vitamins and supplements you can take. Like I said, I do like an AM and a PM. That's what I take in the AM and I love it. I also, there's a couple of herbs you can take, which when we get into my other room, I will show you the herbs that we take. Okay. So PM that I take, it's kind of a blend of vitamins, but it's also a blend of herbs too. Well, actually I shouldn't even say vitamins. It's minerals because Going back to the magnesium, that's a mineral in the body. You lose it with sweat. You lose it with stress. So at night, I'm not showing you guys brands only because like I don't like I'm not like endorsing any brands. Magnesium at night too. So I take it right before I go to bed. Glycinate's going to be your best form because it'll help you fall asleep. Um, and then I also take some adaptogens. So this is a special blend of of adaptogens that has a little bit of ashwagandha. It's got some passion flower and a couple other herbs that are in that. So I take adaptogens at night. And then I also take another proprietary blend of herbs that has a little more lemon balm. Um, It's also got a little bit of valerian root. And then I take L-theanine. So the way adaptogens work, if you are not familiar with them, we'll come back in my other room. If you are not familiar with adaptogens, basically they do exactly what they sound like. So adaptogens will help your body adapt to different levels of stress. So they basically, they protect the adrenal glands. Your adrenal glands are what produce like cortisol. So it helps control the cortisol and the stress response process. So that way you have balanced energy, You don't have like cortisol drops and spikes and all those things. It's super important. So adaptogens are just really good for like maintaining good adrenal health, good hormone health, and keeping your cortisol in check, especially if you are somebody who struggles with anxiety. I spent years struggling with anxiety. It still comes up every now and then. And I can tell you right now, I have tried so many different things. None of them worked. And eventually, after years of doing nutrition, doing holistic health, helping a lot of clients, I finally figured out what worked for me that I didn't feel like I was taking anything. I just felt like myself. Like, oh, well, why don't I just give my body what it needs? Because clearly, it's just a little depleted. And I feel like myself, instead of feeling like I'm on something or like taking something that makes me feel different. So that's why I use all these things. And normally what happens with people who struggle with anxiety or panic attacks or anything like that is it's usually caused by a vitamin, mineral, or nutrient deficiency, or it's caused by too high levels of inflammation or histamines in the body. 
or it's a hormonal imbalance. It's usually the body letting you know, hey, I'm not getting enough of something or I have too much of something else. So all these, I mean, everybody has different needs, but all of these are natural. They're not going to hurt you. They're not addictive. You can take them every day and it's going to be totally fine. They're natural vitamins and herbs and minerals that are giving you giving you your body everything that it needs and nothing that it doesn't. So if you watch this, I also have another video that shares with you more natural ways that you can help alleviate anxiety that would be super beneficial if that's something that you struggle with. So check out that video and I will see you in some of the others. <laughs>